Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're here for the first time, welcome to my channel. My name is Katarina. Today's video is going to be my weekly makeup basket for... I have no idea what the week number is, but today is Sunday when I'm filming and this video will be on YouTube on Mondays. So I do have the products here on my basket, but I just wanted to let you know that I will probably not be doing these weekly makeup basket videos every week. I try to do them once in a while because I think these are so fun to film, but I will still be doing weekly makeup basket each week even though I am not necessarily filming the video, but I will always post them to Instagram, so if you are interested, follow me on Instagram, link is down in the description box. I think previous weeks I have had mostly like new stuff, but this week I do have some new products, and I also do have some older products I haven't used in a while and I want to use again. This week I don't have that much base makeup products, I don't have any new products I want to try out, but I do still have here a couple of concealers. So I do have in my project Panty Star concealer, it's almost gone, but I want to get everything out of there because it was quite pricey concealer and I want to mix it in with the Essence Stay All Day concealer. This concealer is quite sheer and the tart one is very full coverage, as you all know, so I think they are very nice mixed together, so I will be using these ones, but these are the all like base makeup products I do have this week. I don't have any new brow products to try, but I want to focus on using this Urban Decay Gwen Stefani brow box I have in my project pan, because with this one it takes quite a long time for me to create my eyebrows, and when I get back to work, especially if I'm going to morning shift, I probably don't want to use this product, I want to use a pen because that is quicker. But I really want to use this one up before my birthday and that is in the beginning of June, so that's why I will be focusing on using this. I do have here an eyeshadow primer as well that is on my project pan, this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion in Eden. I have mainly been using this eyeshadow primer anyways, but so little bit of this goes a long way, so I feel like I really need to focus on using it so that I can finish it up before my birthday. Okay, there is some new eyeshadows I want to try out, so I want to try these Aromaly eyeshadows I shared in my latest haul. So I have three shades here. I do have Sultry Bloom, it is like a light highlighted shade. Then I have shade Clustered Gleaming and I have also shade Lagetta. And I do have here an eyeshadow palette that is an old favorite of mine. So I really want to take to these weekly makeup baskets some old favorites that I just haven't been reaching out that much. And that's why I picked up this week this Too Faced Chocolate Bar Eyeshadow Palette. I used to use it all the time, but it has been quite a while since I have been using it, so I just wanted to give it a little bit more love, because it really deserves it. It is a beautiful palette, even though I don't like Too Faced as brand anymore that much, but I like the palette and I want to use it more. I decided to take this Anastasia Contour Kit to my weekly makeup basket. This is on my project pan, so my goal was to hit pan on this banana shade and java shade by my birthday. Uh, I don't know if it's possible. I really haven't been using this banana shade because it is too deep for me to set my under eye. And this one is also something that I think it's a little bit too deep for me, so that's why I haven't been using it for a couple of last weeks. But today I actually did use it and I really do like it, so I try to use it more, but at least I want to finish up this shade fawn completely before my birthday, so I will be focusing on that. I really want to hit the goals that I set to my project pan and that's why there is a lot of my project pan items in this week's makeup basket. This week I picked up only one blush, so this is the new blush from Aromaly I ordered, so this is the shade Venus, it is a nice beautiful pink blush, so I want to try that. And I also have here highlighter from Aromaly, so this is shade Fortuna. I think I will be using them together, they look like they go very well together, they are both like pinky shades. And I also have here a Vicker Icon in Love Glow highlighter palette. I bought this couple of months ago and I have been really liking it, but I want to try it a little bit more. So it has three shades. 
this set is called highlight so it is a matte shade so, so this one i want to use as a, my under eye setting powder i want to see how it works there because i really don't use matte highlighter shade anywhere else but my under eye so i want to see how it works I have today highlighted with this one and this glow shade is beautiful highlighter. I think it's so stunning, but I want to use it just a little bit more. Then this sex power play is definitely something that not many people like and I actually don't think it is a very good shade. It is just a pure glitter mess, but I, I'm trying to get it to work. I have it just the tiniest bit on my on the top of my cheekbone today and also I do have these mixed as my inner corner highlighter. This week I picked up some lip products that I have owned quite a while and I just want to use them again. So I do have two of these NYX powder glosses. I don't even know if these are good anymore so I want to use both of these at least once. I do have shade Tiramisu. This is a beautiful nude lip gloss. I'm so sad that this one is not vegan. Uh, any of these powder glosses are not vegan so I'm sad because of that because this would be a perfect lip gloss like my holy grail. If there is a product like this that is not vegan and I do not want to repurchase but I still do have it. I want to focus on using it before it expires so it is very good to take it to my makeup basket right now. Then I do have here shade Devil's Food Cakes. This is like a deep plum shade. I normally like to wear this deep sage as matte, but I'm trying to use it as, at least once. This is definitely something what I want to wear on top of a lip liner. But yeah, I will be using both of these at least once. Also, I will be using at least once this NYX Liquid Suede lipstick. I have had it quite a while and I don't know when I have last time used it. I don't unfortunately think that these ones are vegan. I'm not completely sure. There is a NYX vegan product list at Logical Harmony, but I'm definitely going to wear it this week at least once because it has been so long time since I have wear it last time. Okay, so these are all of the products I have this week in my weekly makeup basket. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please put thumbs up and see you in my next video. Bye bye.